What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We continue with our schedule preview projected record series. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets are up next. Let's take a look at the 2023 schedule first. And you can see a 7-6 record, 6-6 six six in the regular season. It's crazy that this team was able to get to 7-6 but didn't beat Bowling Green. If you had told me in the preseason this team was not going to beat Bowling Green, I would not have thought that th they would make it to a bowl game. If they won some big games, uh, North Carolina at Virginia, Syracuse at Miami, you know, uh, it wasn't a tough schedule, really. I mean, the non-conference was tough with Ole Miss and Georgia and, of course, Bowling Green, the mighty Bowling Green, but uh, their conference schedule wasn't that bad. They didn't play Florida State. Um, well, they did play Clemson. I guess it, it was a, a fairly tough – they played Louisville. So, yeah, give Georgia Tech some credit for making it to a bowl game last season and uh, winning that bowl game, going 7-6. and six. But we'll look at the 2024 schedule, and uh, we'll start we'll, – we'll break it down first with the non-conference. They play Georgia State, VMI, Notre Dame, and Georgia on the road, by the way. So you know, both Notre Dame and Georgia in the non-conference. And, you know, it's really a tough schedule because not only that, but – uh, we'll get to it in just a second. But here's the home schedule in the ACC. Duke, Miami, and NC State. So only three home games in the ACC, which means they have to play five games away from home in the conference. That's because the neutral side game in Ireland against Florida State, that is considered Georgia Tech's home game. So, again, they only get three true home games. They only get six true home games on their entire schedule, and they have to play at Syracuse at Louisville at North Carolina and at Virginia Tech so this is a really tough schedule um just the way it sets up uh, not maybe not necessarily the if you just look at the teams in their schedule but uh, the fact that again they only get five uh, or six true home games it's a, it's a pretty tough schedule so here it is they start with Florida State that's actually a week zero game on August 24th then not okay take a look at this after going all the way to Ireland, they don't get a bye week the next week. They jump right into another game against Georgia State. It's an in-state game. Georgia State's going to be fired up. That's not. That's one. You know that that could be their Bowling Green this year. Watch out for that game. Then they play Syracuse on the road on the seventh. VMI on the fourteenth at Louisville on the twenty-first. So they still don't have a bye week. So they play five straight games. And again, that first game all the way in Ireland, and then they finally get their first bye week. They come back home for Duke on the 5th of October. Then they go on the road to play North Carolina on the 12th. And then it's back home for Notre Dame on the 19th. And then a very tough one at Virginia Tech. Uh, that's going to be a tough a tough stretch there at North Carolina, Notre Dame, and at Miami. Then they get a bye week, their second bye week. And they're actually going to get three bye weeks because they play a week zero game. So Miami is on the 9th after a bye week. Then they get another bye week, which is just crazy, before a, a weeknight game against NC State, and they close things out with Georgia on the road. So they get, you know, two bye weeks in the month of November. That is just, that's really strange um, how that worked out, but it is what it is here for Georgia Tech. So, I, uh, again, it's going to be it's going to be a tough start. I think it could be similar to last year where, uh, they might kind of build some momentum. Although you look at the schedule, and it's going to be tough to build momentum in the second half of the season when you've got at North Carolina, Notre Dame, at Virginia Tech, Miami, NC State, and at Georgia. So this is a team with a lot of momentum going into this year. They finished strong last year. They've, they've been getting better and better. So you expect it to be a team that uh, maybe could, could make some noise this year. But then you look at the schedule, and it just doesn't set up well. It just not, does not set up well at all for Georgia Tech. I think it's going to be tough for them to get to a bowl game. But let's get to the projection. First, let's look at last year's projections. Uh, they were 6-6 six and six again in the regular season. Our projection had them at 5-7. and seven. I actually predicted them to go 6-6, six and six, so I was right on the money. Athlon had them at 5-7. and seven. The over-under was at 4.5. That seemed like an easy pick to go over because I really just didn't see them going 4-8. and eight. And just, just think if they had taken care of business against Bowling Green, they would have been 7-5. and five. Uh, So they were way over that 4.5, really, when you just look at how good this team was. And so, yeah, 6-6 six and six last season. Let's get to the projection for this season. This is the scale that we use. If it's under 80 or over, or under 20, I should say, or over 80, those are games that are pretty much guaranteed wins or losses. 20-29, uh, to 71-80, to 80, those are games where I think the spread's going to be double digits. 30-39, to 61-70, closer to a touchdown spread. And then the 50-50 games in the white, really just games that can go either way. So, you look at the schedule again, and you look for easy wins. I think you've got one, VMI. That should be a win pretty much an automatic win. 
But I'm not going to put Georgia State in this green because of what I said a minute ago. It's after going all the way to Ireland. It's an in-state team in Georgia State, so you know you're going to have guys that are fired up on that team for them. That could be a tough game. I do think Georgia Tech will be favored by a couple of touchdowns, but uh, it's not one that's going to be a guaranteed win by any means. Uh, so that's that's one that they should win, but we'll see. And then games where they're going to be, I think, about a touchdown underdog, Florida State at Louisville and Notre Dame. All of these games, I think the other teams are pretty clear favorites. The good, good news is Notre Dame is at home, uh, so maybe that gives Georgia Tech a chance. If they're going to have a good season, a really good season, they're probably going to have to pull off an upset in one of these three games. I, I just feel like uh, if, if Georgia Tech gets to like 8-4, and four, it's going to be they're going to have to pull off an upset somewhere and maybe in one of these games uh, because then you've got Georgia, probably not going to beat them. Uh, we've got that one in the orange. It is a rivalry game, so I'm not going to put it in the red. Uh, they played them somewhat competitive last year, and so uh, we'll see. But I, th I think that's one where Georgia Tech is going to be uh, clearly you know, two-touchdown underdog, maybe more than that, probably more than that. But uh, So those are four games where I think they're going to be a clear underdog, two games there where they should be a pretty big favorite and then you've got the rest of the schedule a bunch of 50 50 games syracuse on the road duke at north carolina i think georgia tech's pretty much on the same tier as these teams virginia tech uh, this is a team with with some hype coming into this year that one might actually wind up in the yellow because it's on the road but for now we'll keep we'll keep it in the 50 50 miami could be a really tough one as well nc state uh those two teams have a lot of potential so you got a bunch of games that could go either way. Half the schedule is is the, those types of games. So if they lose to Florida State, Louisville, Notre Dame, and Georgia, that's four losses. And then if they split the 50-50 games, that's seven losses. They don't make it to a bowl game. That's why I said I think it's going to be hard for them. But the odds would say, again, maybe they pull off a win in one of these games in the yellow, and it should be enough to get them back to 6-6. Six and six. So projection is 6-6. Six and six. That's not my prediction. We're still a ways away from predictions, but uh, prediction – our projection right now, an early projection for Georgia Tech is 6-6. Six and six. Do you guys agree? Do you disagree? Give me your thoughts on this team down in the comments below.